Hey everybody, got a viewer request for the Viper 3121V alarm system. It's a motorcycle alarm for any kind of a small vehicle, and I installed one here on the Bentelli. Had a viewer ask for a quick install video, and although I don't have any footage of me installing it, I can walk you around and let you know what wires I connected to where and how I did it, so stick around. Does this look right? Ow! Where did I put my screws? I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to go. Okay, so to begin with, I've got my DC converter that I connected here. You may be able to run an additional power line from, say, your 12-volt uh, outlet behind your dash, or if you have like just one of those small silver converters, those will also work. I wanted to connect a bunch of things. As you can see here, I've only currently got my uh, alarm plugged in, uh, but I've got it, you know, daisy chained here for more things to come, so stick around for those. Uh, so of course my power wire is right here, and I mounted the alarm module right here. I just got a, a self-tapping screw and a little washer and just drilled it into the side right here. And as you can see here, once you put the cover back on and put those two little uh, popper things in there, it covers up everything just fine. Uh, if you do decide to get one of these DC converters, it is not going to fit in here anywhere without keeping this top from latching completely. As you can see, uh, I put it in here. It latches, but it does leave a small gap up at the top here. Just something you should be aware of, unless you wanted to mount it just anywhere else. Uh, I wanted it right here. Well, just because. But I'm okay with it. It doesn't bounce around or anything. I'm not too worried about it. So I uh, got some notes here. So the red wire goes to the battery, or, you know, as your constant power, I've got a DC converter, fused, red wire right here, goes straight to the main box. The black ground wire, I have this fancy little machine screw right here. I separate it with washers, and then every place that I plug in, uh, I'll just add a washer in between them. So that's how I am grounding everything on the cart, is with that. I will eventually get a larger fuse block that has uh, like a, a extra ground plugs and everything, so I can just ground it one spot and ground everything, have all my power plugs here, and then a ground bar down below it. I uh, just haven't gotten to that yet. So black goes to ground, yellow is your ignition, and I've got yellow, ignition is red, and dash Y splitter to 12 volt outlet. Okay, so what I did there, uh, under the dash, let me see if I can get this so you guys can see it. Under the dash here, I made this nifty little Y splitter right here. The wire that's coming in went to the 12 volt power outlet, the uh, round plug on the dash. So I might call it the old school cigarette lighter, but uh, it's a 12 volt power outlet, the round outlet there. So I got a, a splitter there and then two red wires coming out. One red wire loops straight back around to the 12 volt power outlet on the dash. And the other one gets connected to uh, the ignition wire then. Right here, it's this red wire comes out, and I've got it right there to the yellow. So there's your yellow wire. The uh, green wire is not used. Purple, blue, red, white, I'll, you know, I'll get to those later. The white wire goes to the white hazard. So the solid white wire, I was able to find a uh, scrap piece of white wire, which was nice because it matched. And when you find on this side of your dash, you got your uh, let's see, hazard button right here. If you trace that back, you'll see that it's got three wires connected to it. And those are brown, white, and black. So the white wire, luckily enough, connects right to the white wire. The white wire with the brown stripe on it 
connects to your brown wire. I know mine's black here. Uh, my white wire with the black or the white wire with the brown stripe on it. I, I didn't have any wire like that. I did have some black wire, so I just connected it to the black. Uh, so your white wire with the brown stripe goes to the brown wire, and the white wire goes to white wire. It's kind of nice like that. The brown wire goes to the siren red. So if you look right here, there's a brown wire that comes out of your uh, little module box right here. And it goes around and that connects to your red siren wire. So you'll see there's a siren, it's got a red and a black wire. Red siren wire connects to brown alarm box wire. And the black wire off of there connects to your ground. Uh, sorry, I'm black your ground. So the purple, blue, so this purple wire, uh, the red wire with the white stripe, and the blue wire there. I've got these all just kind of balled up and uh, stuck off to the side. I didn't connect these together. It doesn't seem to matter one way or the other. Uh, and then the final wire, I have this one sitting just right up here. The black wire with the white stripe on it, that's your antenna wire. So you want to make sure that that's kind of up and out of the way, I guess. I don't know, mine works just fine. I just kind of stuck it in the loop of the battery right there. You might be able to figure out where I am under here. But I've got the, uh, the siren module kind of zippy stripped. Or, let's see if I can balance it. There we go. So I've got a little zip strip right here on the back of the battery box, uh, just in front of the motor. The speaker I have aimed straight down, so it kind of bounces the sound off of the ground so it can be heard really well. And then all of these wires come out of this hole then that's right here by your parking brake Y splitter thing. That's where all the wires are uh, coming in and out. And then I just have the wires, uh, you might be able to see, uh, just run right down here. And I went kind of along where the factory wire was. And I used a wire coat hanger that I had straightened out to kind of fish the wires down and through. Hang on, this might get a bit ugly. And then up front here, uh, those wires then go right up through there. You can see that white wire. And then it goes up in and behind the dash. That is how I have mine connected. It's the model. 3121B Viper Alarm. So there you go. Uh, if there's any other viewer requests, just let me know. Otherwise, if you like this video, found it helpful, like and subscribe. Thank you.